For today's sponsor we have GVG Mall, where you can acquire your Windows 10 Home serial key for only $16 and using my SKEG discount code will get you 20% off, making it only $11. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and after getting it, you simply need to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, this is Game Blaze. I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. So, I just woke up like 2 hours ago and I saw like literally like 30 minutes ago that AMD had just announced the Fidelity FX Super Resolution. So basically this is like the Nvidia's DLSS, which is basically um, they downscale the resolution, okay, then reconstruct the image using AI, so artificial intelligence. Uh, what I know though is that from what I've seen before, because I already saw this video, from what I've seen before, uh, it actually seems to have more detail than the NVIDIA's DLSS. I don't know why, I don't know how, because NVIDIA has been working on this for a long time and they improved it a lot with the, the LSS 2.0, but at least in the game shown, it really, really seems completely better and it has more settings. But well, let's just watch the video Let's just watch the video for this video, so this will be kind of a of a show off. Many okay. of you have been asking for an update on AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution, and I am super excited to show you what we've come up with. So let's get right to it. There is no dispute, gamers know performance is king, whether it's an immersive AAA game or a competitive esports title. Many gamers also want to be able to turn on the latest visual technologies, like ray tracing, while maintaining an acceptable technologies. Play okay, game. one thing that, you, that we can actually see now, we have high FPS gaming, ray tracing and we have mobility. So if we have this mobility, it just indicates that the, um, the FSR will also be available, available, sorry, sorry for my pronouns, available on the, on the laptop. So as you can see a laptop, which is crazy. Okay, let's continue or a competitive esports title. Many gamers also want to be able to turn on the latest visual technologies, like ray tracing, while maintaining an acceptable frame rate. And as I shared earlier, tens of millions of gamers are now playing on gaming laptops, and we want similar experiences to what we get on the desktop PC. As a result, high performance upscaling and reconstruction have become a gaming necessity. This is why we have developed Fidelity FX Super Resolution for all gamers. Okay, like I said, so we have laptops also, laptops. Fidelity FX Super Resolution, or FSR, is built around a state-of-the-art spatial upscaling algorithm that delivers a great gaming experience with super high-quality edges and distinctive pixel detail. It greatly improves performance, especially when demanding effects like ray tracing are turned on. We have developed FSR to deliver great performance, great image quality, and most importantly, for broad adoption. On the left is the game Godfall, running at native 4K resolution with ray tracing enabled and in-game settings set to okay, max. Okay, look at this difference. Of course, of course that we we can see this on uh, on a YouTube video because the quality will be diminished. Okay, that's that's obvious. But at least from what we can see. Uh, the quality is pretty, pretty nice. The quality is pretty nice on Ultra. As you can see, for example, on the floor, the textures are pretty similar, okay? The same here for the rocks, the same here. So it is pretty similar. It seems pretty similar. Uh, and we're getting like 59% over the native resolution. So from 49 to 78. As you can see, the performance hovers just around 50 frames per second. By enabling FSR and setting it to ultra quality... So as quality, you can see, now we can actually see better, as you can see, in terms of details, floor details, it seems practically the same, here the same, pretty detailed. So yeah. The visual experience is practically identical. You still get that rich, true-to-life look and feel, but with the 59% performance uplift. Now, some of us care more about performance. And let me and just say this, because of course it will look a bit blurry, but I mean, it's better than 1440p, so it's in between 1440p and 4K, 
but we have almost 1440p performance which is pretty damn nice, so um, it's more or less like NVIDIA's DLSS, but at least now we have more options, as you can see, native, ultra, uh, native is the native, we have ultra quality, uh, balanced, and performance, okay, instead of the, only the three, the three options that we have on NVIDIA. And some of us care more about image quality, and that's exactly why we've created four different quality settings in FSR. Gamers can expect anywhere from a 59% increase between native and ultra quality mode to over 2x increase when switching to performance mode. So even on video, we can actually see, at least I can see, that the ultra quality uh, is sharper than the high quality, or at least the quality settings. We can actually see that. So from the native to the ultra quality, the difference is minimal really really minimal but from ultra to quality we can see a bit of difference in terms of sharpening okay in terms of of quality itself let's continue <laughs> our goal at amd is to create new technologies and features to drive the entire gaming industry forward by making them as broadly available as possible and because the Fidelity FX suite of technologies is available on GPUopen.com for the entire... So, 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 wait. So, I don't know if you actually know, but the NVIDIA's DLSS is only able to be used on the RTX cards. So, RTX 2000 and RTX 3000. They are locked. That, that is locked just for those cards. So, even inside the NVIDIA cards, you can only use the DLSS with those cards that have the RT cores, okay? Uh, but well, on the, in the FSR, you can use them with the RX 6000, 5000, the RX uh, Vega cards, the RX 500 cards. So basically, you can use it on almost any AMD card. Uh, apart from the really, really old ones, you can use the, the FSR and well, enjoy, enjoy better performance with a diminished, um, uh, diminished quality impact, okay, so a higher performance, diminished quality impact, visual quality impact in almost any card, okay? Here, NVIDIA to only to access. series, while on AMD Super we have all. will be supported across a wide range of products. FSR will be enabled on all Radeon RX 6000, RX 5000, RX 500, and RX Vegas series graphics cards, and as well as on all Ryzen processors with Radeon graphics. So this is already a plus versus the NVIDIA option because NVIDIA is limited to those and demonstrating cards, once again AMD... AMD's commitment to drive the gaming industry forward, I have an exciting demo to show you next. AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution not only works on AMD hardware, but also across a wide variety of our competitors' hardware including their most popular graphics card, according to Steam, the GTX 1060. As a matter of fact, FSR will work on all GTX 10 series GPUs to current so that gamers can extend the life of their GPU even further. And for game developers, that means less proprietary... Okay, let's just go back a bit. Okay, so this is the quality mode on GTX 1060. Okay. Okay, it's fine because AMD is, <laughs> it's like AMD is shitting on, uh, on NVIDIA because they have the, the FSR for their cards and now they even enabled, they even enabled it uh, for the NVIDIA one. So basically you can use it on all AMD cards and also the NVIDIA ones, while the NVIDIA DLSS is only usable on the RTX 2000 and 3000 series. Now, we can actually see that the perform the, the quality difference is big, okay? Let's not, let's not, uh, let's not say it isn't because it is. As you can see, for, exa for example, here on the, on the pilers, uh, as you can see here, okay, th there are lots of differences, so, we have lo a lot less detail here on the, with the quality mode, uh, but we also have 41%. So basically, having the quality mode or decreasing the resolution to 1080p would be the same, I guess. Um, so yeah, I would still go to 1080p or maybe try the, the ultra quality mode. The ultra quality mode seems to be pretty fine. And also seems that the FSR uh, works a little worse 
on the Nvidia cards, okay? Because the the difference in terms of quality wasn't so uh, wasn't so big with the AMD cards, okay? So maybe that's the point. But I mean, it's still 41%, and it's an Nvidia card working on uh, on the FSR, which is made by AMD. So we can't ask that more. That means less proprietary code they need to implement for wider impact. AMD's Fidelity FX can provide more than 2x performance at its fastest setting and select titles. It offers four different quality settings that gamers can select and already has support from over 10 game studios and engines, with a lot more planned in 2022. And most importantly, it will be available on over 100 GPUs and CPUs, plus our competitors' products. Yep, they're literally shitting on NVIDIA with this. The first set of games supporting FSR will be available on June 22nd. Tell us yeah, what games June you 22nd. would like to see with FSR enabled by visiting amd.com forward slash FSR. And we will do our best to work with game developers. Basically, you can even you can even go to AMD website and request a game to, to be implemented with FSR. So that's pretty nice. So imagine if you have a game that you play a lot, that you play a lot, you can go there to, to their website and just request that game to get FSR. Just to get this feature integrated into their games as soon as possible. So that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. So basically, so basically, um, like it was said in the video, it's a, it's a way to reconstruct image with the AI. So that's how the FSR and the LSS work, okay? So it uses an algorithm to actually re reconstruct the image, okay? It downsamples the image. Uh, I mean, it doesn't downsample, it just uses a lower, a lower render resolution. So imagine if you're playing at 4K, it will decrease it to 1440p and then reconstruct the image with the AI algorithm to actually to actually look as good or at least cl really close to 4K uh, without without having that big performance impact of the 4K resolution. So it's a uh, an in between term. Let's say that, for example, if you're using 1440p uh, ultra quality FSR, it would be like uh, having an in between of 1080p and 1440p, but with with almost 1440p quality and almost 1080p uh, performance. So it's a win-win situation in most scenarios, if done correctly, of course. If done correctly, for example, for example, the Nvidia's DLSS uh, 1.0 was not that good at reconstructing images, so we had lots, lots of of bad details, even at the max settings. And the LSS 2.0 was a big was a big upgrade over the first uh, the first revision. Even the 1.1 was was a good upgrade, but the 2.0 versus the 1.1 was a really big upgrade in terms of image fidelity, okay? So yeah, I really hope to to get fast to the, to the 22nd and that we can actually see FSR performing as intended and I will obviously test it with my 5700 XT and the RX 6800. So that's all for today guys. Let's just enjoy the FSR in all our cards in laptops that need it the most in laptops, lower end cards like the RX 580 uh, and so on, so on, so on. So this will be really nice and I'm really, really happy that AMD unlocked it for all cards and even for NVIDIA ones. So don't forget, hit like, subscribe and share this video. Leave your comment in the comment section once again. Let me know what you think about the, the FSR and what of what was shown because i really want to know and i think that people want to watch the comment section just to just to, to write with anger to others like okay fsr sucks and be the DLSS is the best and so on i love fanboys <laughs> okay guys see you in the next video